Here's adventure. Here's romance. Here's O. Henry's famous Robin Hood of the Old West, the Cisco Kid. As we go, boys, we're not going down in that hole. Too many folks have disappeared down in there. I've got a hunch the Cisco Kid and Poncho aren't coming out alive either. from Barranco to Barranco and still we don't find no way out of here. Oh, Pancho, there must be a way out of here. But we better find a police on Zedco because we don't got no more water left in the canteen. Loco, Loco, please get up. No. Don't die. What would Pancho do without you? No. Come on, Pancho. We must go on. No. Cisco and leave Loco here to die? No. <laughs> I can't do that. I will come back for Loco and Diablo too after we find some water, Pancho. There must be water around here somewhere. <laughs> you, you, you hear that, Loco? Eh? You hear that? What Cisco say? I promise, eh? We come back. But please, please don't die. Come on, Pancho. Sorry, miss. We don't have any. We're looking for water, too. If you can just take me to Mesa Verde. It's over the ridge. I, I'm sure we'll find some water there. <gasps> that was not for me. It's a poison dart. Keep an eye on her, Pancho. I don't know, Pancho. I didn't see anyone around. Oh, but there must be. It's happened before. They're trying. 
trying to kill me. They're trying to keep me out of Mesa Verde. Who? I don't know. Someone who doesn't want me to prove that I'm Sandra Spencer. Oh, all my family records are in that town. I've got to find them. And someone doesn't want me to. Oh, please. Please. Sancho, we'll have to take her to that town. This is Mesa Verde. This town is empty. Any house, ain't nobody home. It's a ghost town. A, a ghost town? Let's win. Oh, please. It was cleaned out by an epidemic, but I'm sure we'll find water. Come on. Welcome to the Baxter House. Come in. Come in. Come in. Good morning, friends. Or is it afternoon? But time doesn't matter. Willoughby Baxter welcomes you to the Baxter House, the finest hostelry in the West. Hey, <laughs> mister, what is there? Some water around here. You find water back there. Plenty of it. Water, water. Why bother me? Now, where was I? Oh, yes. Boy, boy, get their bags. Prepare their rooms immediately. They... Oh, my goodness. I... Helen. Helen, darling, you've come back to me. You've come back. Helen? I'm not Helen. My name is Sandra Spencer. Hey, mister. Where is there some water? We're dying of thirst. Everybody wants water. I'll get it for you. Pancho, have you been keeping an eye on Sandra the way I told you? Yeah, she's upstairs sleeping, but there's something very funny, Cisco. The old man, he keeps calling her Helen instead of Sandra and keeps saying it's his wife. That's a strange old man, Pancho. I... What's the matter? Don't look now. But there are two men watching us. What are you going to do? Well, make believe that we didn't see them. Let's take them by surprise. Come on, this way. Wait till they get their backs to us. Where'd he go? We'd better get out of here. them in this building, Pancho. Go around and cover the back. See, they don't run out. We better get out of here. You keep them busy. I'll check the back way. out there. Looks like we're trapped. Oh, no, we're not. I know another way out. Come on.
I don't know. They went out the back way. No, they went out just out there, Cisco. Well, then they must have disappeared. Cisco, this place give me the jeepers creepers. What happened? Who were you shooting at? I don't know. They started shooting at us. I think they're the men that are after me. What's all this about, anyhow? Oh, I've told you. They're trying to keep me from finding the family records. They must be very important records. Oh, they are. You see, my Uncle Terry left me his entire estate. But a cousin claims that I'm an imposter, that Dad was never even married. Oh, so then the cousin will inherit the whole estate, unless you can find the marriage records and the birth certificate, eh? Yes. Well, what, what does your cousin look like? I don't know. I've never seen him. All I know is that his name is Gordon and that he's an actor. Ah, oh, I see you've met my wife, Mr. Sisko. <laughs> Come here, my dear. I have something to show you. Your clothes. I knew you'd come back. Pretty, aren't they? You're crazy, Cisco. I'm not his wife. I know it, Sandra. But don't be alarmed. He's harmless. Cisco, this old man gave me the creepers. I'm gonna look after my horse. I saved them for you. I knew you'd come back. What did you say? What did you say? No roses. Oh, what a pity. Helen loved them so. I did so want to see her grave covered with roses. Do the best you can. My Helen always wanted a beautiful funeral. M Mr. Baxter, Do I know you, miss? Say, hey, Mr. Baxter, you need a little rest. Rest? Yes, I suppose so. I'm rather tired. Please excuse me. He makes me feel as if I were a ghost. You're still upset, Sandra. That was just a clock. I'm sorry. My nerves are pretty jangled. I remember the clock. It used to be in the county recorder's office when I was a girl. I... top range to homestead and we've lost our way mighty funny how everybody lands in this ghost town at the same time my apologies i'll find a proprietor for you oh george i'm afraid let's not go through with it please You've got to, Anita. Cisco, you won't find nothing in here but mice. Keep on looking, can't you? Well, if you say so. Get up. 
Mr. Gordon. Gordon. What do you call me, Gordon? My name's Hardy. Is it? So you haven't been trying to kill Sandra with poison darts, have you? Kill Sandra? Well, you're crazy. I never saw her before today. Search him, Pancho. What's going on here? Hey, you won't look too good with a hole in your head. Look, you're making a mistake. I heard a shot and came out here to see what was happening. Cisco, you don't got nothing but a pipe and tobacco sack. Well, now, do you believe me? You're very clever, Gordon. Throwing the blowgun away in the dart and not running off. But you got me mixed up with You're something. going to stay here with us so I can keep my eye on you. Come on. Get moving. Run away from here. Stay here where you can watch me. Hey, why don't you help us look? Hey, Cisco! 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 He was here and all to the sudden he, he, he disappeared. Cisco, what are you talking about? He, 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 Gordon, Gordon, he was here. I see him with my own two eyes. Cisco, he was right here. He was right here. I thought he was right. He was right here. Maybe, I don't know, maybe he's a ghost or something. I don't know what. What do you think? What do you think? Pancho. Hey, Pancho. Where are you? Where is Pancho? I don't know. He was here a minute ago. But he didn't go out the front door. I was standing there all the time. He didn't go out that door. I was there. This is very weird. Please don't be frightened, my dear. What happened? Oh, that face that was watching me from the wall over there. It was horrible. All right, everyone, put him up. Keep him up. George! Get back, lady. You could have worked scared you got a minute ago when you saw my face. I said everyone, and that means you too, Pop. But I'm holding this vase. It was Helen's. It will break it. Now you can put him up, Grandpa. Forgive him, Helen, dearest. The fault is mine. The foul winds blow, but they shall not dim thy beauty. Dearest Helen, thy beauty is a protective cloak that will shield thee from harm. The foul winds blow, but they shall not dim thy beauty. You're right, Mr. Baxter. Holy smokers, he's a chief, Cisco. Yes, Pancho. His real name is Gordon. He's the actor cousin that has been trying to kill Miss Spencer. That's right. Now get over there, Cisco. One false move and the girl dies immediately. Tell me, Cisco, how did you guess I was Gordon? That speech you made about the foul wind. I remember hearing it in a play called Helen of Troy. Oh, yes, my favorite play. You should see me in the role of Paris. I am magnificent. I imagine so. Well, the final curtain falls. But you, dear cousin, you'll never find what you're looking for. I've searched everywhere. Tell me, Gordon. Yeah? Why didn't you kill her when she was asleep or alone? <laughs> what a stupid question. 
Why do you suppose I came up here? I wanted a stage. I wanted an audience. I, Napoleon Gordon, who have trod the boards with the immortals. I, an actor, heal her without benefit of an audience to witness the performance? Preposterous! What does the plan do? was your last personal appearance. Nay, my last appearance will be in the courtroom. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, I humbly stand before you save and innocent... Save it, Gordon. I'll be there in the audience myself. Good. <clears throat> Get up. You get him, Cisco? Yes, Pancho, I did. That poor old man. Thank you, Cisco, for everything that you've done. We found the records and all this money hidden in the clock. I think I know where this came from. Did you two hide this money in the clock? Yeah, we hid it there after we robbed the bank. Figuring on coming back the next day and picking it up. But the sheriff tagged us and we went to prison. When we finally did get back for it, you were here. That sheriff is going to think differently about Pancho and me. He's the one that chased us here. I'm very sorry if I have been rough on you. That's all right. I guess I did act suspicious. You see, George was so nervous. My father had threatened to shoot him if we eloped. Well, it was worth it, honey. I'll take that back. You see, Cisco and me, we fixed everything. You know, I even fixed the steps. Look, Cisco, I'm going to show you, huh? <laughs> Bye, amigos. See you soon. <laughs>